What's up guys, Rogue Budget here with Unashamed Gaming, bringing you a vlog today. Going to do two things with this vlog. First, I'm going to show you my setup. Uh, if you don't know, I moved a little while ago, so I'm going to show you kind of my new room, um, my new setup, stuff like that. And then I'm going to talk about Infinite, Infinite Warfare a little bit, not a whole lot, because we don't know a whole lot. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. So first thing off with the setup, I really wish iPhones and iPods would make a function to where you could turn the camera around mid-video, but they don't, so I'm just going to have to show you guys and hope that you can see it. But I'll show you here. So you come into the room, and you got my closet to the left, nothing exciting in there. I got bathroom over there, nothing exciting there. But I do have a couch in my room, which is pretty cool. Um, so I got the couch there. Over there's my bed. But here's the fun stuff, the setup right here. I have got my TV monitor, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's a TV technically there with my computer right next to it. Um, it's great because I have the router right there. So I've got my Xbox One. i got the PlayStation, uh, the cap card. i got all my movies and games and stuff like that. And then i got the stereo system right down there, which makes a lot of noise. Um, but that's pretty much my room. It's small. It's, it's not bad. I'm not going to show you the rest of the apartment, but that's where I'm at right now. Um, I like it. I like having the internet right here. Good connection close by is always a plus. Um, here's the Strohs. I didn't know if I showed those sitting there on the TV. Still liking them. Very, very good investment. But let's talk about Infinite Warfare a little bit. Um, everyone's given it a lot of hate, and I don't really know why, because they haven't seen anything. I mean, you saw a launch trailer, and I looked at the comments on the some of the tweets and some of the videos, uh, some of the posts, and they're almost all negative. Like, let me put this down so it's not as shaky. But why do people, I don't understand why people are so just blatantly upset over this trailer. Now, I'll be the first to say I hate movement. I hate boosting. I hate it all. Um, and the fact that you did see some in the trailer, which I know Enos is going to do a trailer breakdown, so I'm not going to steal a lot of thunder from that. But the fact that you did see some in the trailer was, you know, kind of disheartening to me. I wasn't too happy about that. Um, but, again, I've heard posts, I've heard rumors that that's just the campaign, that multiplayer's boots on the ground. Part of this due to that Facebook Messenger thing that you could do. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sure Enos will go into further detail about it. I'm not going to get into it right now. So I'm thinking multiplayer, there's a good chance it'll be boots on the ground. Um, now, everyone is also pissed off that it's futuristic. It's supposed to be the most set and advanced, set in the future Call of Duty that we've had to date. And to me, as long as multiplayer is classic multiplayer, boots on the ground, I don't really care what time frame it's in. As long as the guns are still kind of normal guns, I don't really want lasers and and su stupid like futuristic weapons um, and stuff like that. But as long as that's the case for multiplayer, I'll be great. I'll be so happy. The gameplay, the game could probably suck, and I would still be happy because I'd be going back to classic Call of Duty. Um, now, as far as the campaign goes, I don't really want a futur futuristic campaign. I haven't really played the Black Ops 3 campaign or the Advanced Warfare campaign. I never really just got into either one of them with all the futuristic stuff. I wasn't too pleased with, with all that. It just didn't really, didn't really spark my interest. Um, I prefer the classical campaigns. The Basically, I mean, even the Ghost campaign was good. All the campaigns up until then I enjoyed, but I just, I like feeling like I'm actually in a realistic setting, a realistic war setting when I'm playing the campaign. I don't want some futuristic thing with boosting around and stuff like that. So that's kind of my take on it. But really the main reason I buy the game and a lot of people buy the game is multiplayer. So if you're more of a campaign person, I guess you have a right to be kind of mad about the, the futuristic kind of style. But if you really care about the multiplayer, at least wait till the multiplayer reveal is is out. Probably E3 for that. Um, I don't think we're going to have anything before then for multiplayer. It's usually at E3. We might just get a trailer, but a real multiplayer experience will be at E3. And that's where I think we need to to wait for and to decide to give a verdict on what we think this game is going to be like. Um, but that's just my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're excited or un unexcited for this game. Like I mentioned before, COD 4 Remastered, super excited about that. It looked beautiful in the trailer. The game itself, Infinity Warfare, Infinite Warfare, whatever, 
it looked good as well in the trailer. I'm pretty excited about um, how it looked. It looked like, you know, it, it was beautiful. So um, we'll see where we go from here, guys, but that's just my opinion. Sorry for the vlog. It's kind of a cop-out, kind of not. I mean, I've been trying to get a video all day, but it's so hard to play and focus and get a video when you just don't want to play. I've been busy today. I have other stuff to do. Um, and I'm on a time frame. I don't like being on a time frame when I'm getting a video. It makes me feel stressed. So vlog today. Uh, I've been covering for Enoth this week as he has had a really busy week. So he'll be back with you Saturday, probably take Sunday off, and then regular schedule on Monday, I believe. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I can get some gameplays on Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, because I might be going out of town again next Wednesday for a few days. And after that, I should be done with the going out of town for the summer. So we'll see. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys next time.